We would walk on the beach in our bare feet. We were both 18 and it felt so right. Sleeping all day, staying up all night. should run for president. Instead of just being about the money, he's always been about doing things that are cool, I think, and making it cool for... He's proven time and time again that he knows what he's doing, you know? He's in invested a lot in the bands that have reinvested in him, you know? It's like, it's a community kind of feeling with Kevin. A lot of kids will come up and say, you know, how'd you get on the Warped Tour and do this and that? And, and I'll tell them, you know, it starts off with just meeting Kevin. Big family getting back on the road, and that's what it's all about on Warped Tour. There's a thing called the Kevin Says stage, and that is due to fans showing up and go, we're supposed to play today. And they're like, no, you're not. And they go, well, Kevin said. Kevin said. So he just made a stage called Kevin, Kevin Says. Says stage. We give the kids a chance to show up in the morning. We'd listen to demo tapes. Some days, if I'm in a bad mood and I'm dealing with an agent or a manager that I'm really down, I reach in that big pile and just grab one. And the first kid I can get on the phone, I give him five days on the work tour. And if as long as I still can do that and still have fun doing that, yeah, I think we could be talking about it in 10 years. Stay tuned. More work tour goodness with Story of the Year. Taking Back Sunday. The Used. Good Charlotte. And Newfound Glory takes us backstage and on stage. It's all coming up. It's pretty cool.
one thing's definitely true about the Warped Tour is you definitely make lifelong friends. Like there's definitely people that I met the, when we did the Warped Tour the first time three, three, four years ago, um, that they, these people will be like at my child's first birthday party. There's no, uh, there's no egos, there's no better band than the other band. All the bands are treated the same. Everyone's, it's pretty down to earth. If you're nice to someone else, they're nice to you back, and it's not like, well, my band's bigger than yours, or, you know, you're young, so you just... It's just really, it's really cohesive here. It's really cool. The camaraderie that, that happens like on the Warped Tour and the friends you make, is that's the best part of Warped. You meet these people that are just incredible, you know, from production all the way to the bands that are amazing, and the local bands, and you just make all these friends that are on this tour every day, and it's so special. Coming up next, Taking Back Sunday, Newfound Glory, and later, more from Sugar Cult, The Used. And still to come, more rock with Good Charlotte and Bad Religion. to have all of you here. Thank you so much. I would also like to thank Kevin Lyman, who for 10 years has been putting on this tour. And every year it gets bigger and bigger. All right. <laughs>
This ain't no damn joke. This thing is real to me. I'm Ice T. Oh, gee. All in. We take it back to the days of just showing. We're holding on to what's golden. tour represented everything that I was, you know, like good bands and, and skateboarding. I was just like, this is awesome. This is like, this is me. What goes along better than watching skating while you can listen to punk music? It's just perfect, perfect uh, combination. What can be better? 
or traveling on a tour bus, skating every day with your friends. Good luck. It's fun, it's no pressure, it's not like a contest, you know, you're just doing a demo with your buddies. Get sick of watching bands, you want to have a little, you know, some kind of other stimulation, you get to go watch the, uh, you know, the motocross guys and do their thing, that is just insane. They, they scare the hell out of me. You make rock stars look like babies, man, those guys know how to go for it. While we're playing, you're actually watching these skaters, like, go up and do this insane stuff that neither one of us could ever do, you know, and it's sort of inspiring to keep you playing, and then after the show, you're backstage and see one of the guys who's like, hey, I was skating while you guys were playing, it was awesome, you were pumping me up. Up. And I'm like, you were pumping me up, you know, like it's cool, like trade off of energy with the sports and music, you know. Every year I think like, man, I wonder if this is going to be my last year on the Warp Tour. And then I do it and I'm like, man, I definitely want to come back next year, you know. This has been my summer for the past 10 years, so I started this, doing this when I was 21 or 22, so I didn't think I'd be doing this 10 years later. I'd be skating, but not on the Warp Tour. Thanks, Kevin. The song is called Take It Away. And the staggers, my issues. I'm a pawn, I should have paid off. Left an hour late, I was laid off. I must abuse myself, I'm against all that I'm made of. Time stood, sun will come, hate the light. You know I hate the light. No man, I'm not a great Burn the sun, burn the light. No more chances I'm stuck out in a chemical romance Guess I'm bitchy Thoughts of Johnny Soap Funny, lonely feeling Not in love No, it's not No, man, Not so Religion? 
and newfound glory. If anyone starts taking too much of my time in a day, for not purposes of running a show, they get they get sent home, or I don't bring them. I was a you know early 1995. I had to send Sublime home for a week. They were taking so much time. I had two rules with Sublime: no dog and no friends. I hated their dog. Me and Louie hated each other. They'd bring him to clubs. I worked in all the clubs. I hated that dog. They brought their friend and their dog to the, to the New York show. We were in Asbury Park, and he, the dog bit a guy. Okay? Go to Buffalo the next day. He fights two people, and Brad's answer to me was, Kevin, he hates skateboarders. And we're on a skateboarder music festival. And all their friends were there. So I said, if I see your friends tomorrow morning, and, and this was when there was no food and things. We have, like, two boxes of cereal out there. And I walked into catering, and their friends had eaten all the, the cereal. So I, had, I said, if you can come back in a week and meet me and either take your problems off the parking lot and be pro, because they were, they were the best band that ever played this tour. By far the best band. And then that's what I miss about Brad, because I know he would still be playing here. No matter how big they would have been here, he would have been here every summer. That's the band that would have been here every summer. It's what I got. All right, you guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for hanging out with us. Oh, 
I think anybody, any band would realize that if you're going to pull into Lincoln, Nebraska, you might get 800 kids. But if you come with the Warp Tour, you're going to get 8,000. Uh, because people will drive from a long way uh, to come and see this event. A band like ours couldn't go out and play to 15,000 people every night. But out here you can. You know, if the ticket price is low enough and it, uh, you know, makes it uh, affordable for you know the kids to come out and see the show. And you know, we ended up make, making a ton of fans. We know that for a fact. We, we go out on our own our own uh, tours and stuff. And you know, there's people there. First time I saw you was on the Warp Tour. You know, we hear that all the time. So it's definitely uh, helped our band a lot. I think the Warp Tour has helped us a lot. I think those first that first month of playing the Warp Tour helped us, and you know, with our record sales and more kids getting into us and I think it definitely helped the band a lot a whole lot this is one of the most important most necessary tours I, I feel like like it made it okay for bands like us to be doing well summer rock party. Yeah, the Warped Tour's grown so much that I don't think that there's any stopping it now that it's kind of become a staple for kids. There's always new fans, so 
This is just a great place to bring everything together. Everyone has a little brother, you know? So he's gonna go to the tour in, in two years, or a little sister, and they're gonna, they're gonna be there because they, you know, grew up listening to their uh, brother and sister's records from across the hallway. So now, now, they want, now it's their turn to go and they wanna go. Every year I go with Think It Kid In, and then the, we, we do the tour and the crowds get bigger, and then their dads, they come now. I've seen this, this big transition this year where I see parents bringing their kids, and their parents are wearing bad, old Bad Religion t-shirts, and the kid's wearing a Story of the Year t-shirt. It's amazing that, that something that started out with all mostly underground punk rock bands has managed to uh, go on year after year, and now it's like a, a huge part of, of uh, youth culture. How's it going, everybody? It's great to see you at the 10-year anniversary of the Warped Tour.
play it in a wheelchair in like 40 years. Yeah, totally. You know, just walk out, crap my pants, and then just like not even be able to play the set, but be invited to the 50th year anniversary of the Warped Tour. That's the goal. This tour is constantly morphing into a little bit of a different thing, but at the same time, old guys like us can still come out and rock the stage. Yeah. We're allowed. They allow us to come out here. Pretty soon we're going to the kids still like it, too. So. That's the weird part. Yeah, it's still have fun. There's always going to be an audience for like useful music, like in punk rock and new ideas and rock and roll. There's always going to be an audience for that. And and why wouldn't you come in the heat with thousands of people and enjoy that? <laughs> we were at a theme park the other day. There's roller coasters next to where we played in Buffalo last night, and. There was like an option, I was trying to win a stuffed animal, you know, by throwing darts, and there was an option to either get the dog, the dinosaur, or the framed picture of Good Charlotte. And that's just a, a testament to how, how bands and punk rock itself has grown along with the Warped Tour. The amount of kids I've seen at the Warped Tour, it's, it's huge, it just seems to keep getting bigger, and I think as long as Kevin brings in really good bands like he always does, it's gonna keep going.